So uh, to start off these uh, statistical comparisons uh, for UC, UC Berkeley admission, um, you can see here that there definitely is, um, the strongest one is Irvington at uh, 25%, and it was already pretty good at 22%, but it was the only one to go up. And then Almador Valley, Dougherty Valley, and Mission San Jose saw decent decreases from 2019 to 2020, and then Foothill remained the same at 20%. Now for their UCLA admission, it's a bit of a different story. Uh, Dougherty Valley was the only school that saw a slight increase by about 1%. However, despite the decrease uh, from about 15 to 12%, uh, Foothills is still uh, the highest as of 2020. Next, uh, we'll just do a brief uh, intro or info for their ACT scores. Uh, they did have uh, an impressive increase across the board. As you can see, all five of the schools saw an increase from 2019 to 2020, which you love to see that. Uh, and Mission San Jose is the slightly above the others at 33 in 2020, and then Irvington had 32 in 2020. But all the numbers are uh, very uh, close together. Uh, for their SAT scores, uh, you can see uh, they're all pretty similar, but again, Mission San Jose was slightly above the rest as the only school to go uh, over 1400 at 1450, and then the other schools ranged from 1340 to 1390. For their national merit uh, semifinalists, uh, the two key points here is that Mission San Jose is definitely uh, well in front of the others at 64 in 2021, and that uh, Foothill definitely lags behind a bit at only uh, 16 in 2021. And then uh, Amador Valley and Irvington seeing a slight decrease where Duggarby Valley stayed the exact same at right at 40. Now for their CAASP percentage uh, for their college ready students, uh, as you can see here, as we talked about in the previous slide, uh, Duggarty Valley did have and um, had impressive numbers for each category at almost 100% uh, for English, 96%, and then 88% uh, for math. And then another kind of key point here is that Foothill was the only school that was had their math readiness below 70, but it was just right under 70 at 69%. Um, Amador Valley was basically right at the same at 70%. So that's some information on their CASP. For their AP scores, uh, not as much to talk about here. The charts are very similar. Um, nearly 50% of Mission San Jose students almost uh, scored, had scored A5, which was 49%. Uh, and then the one other standout is that Duggarty Valley had the lowest for both categories. They were the only school that had below 90% for three or higher at 85%. And then they did have the lowest for uh, a five, which is 31%. Now for their number of clubs offered, uh, Duggarty Valley definitely offers uh, the most clubs by a significant margin, as we talked about 150, but Mission San Jose does offer a good amount as well at 100. And then uh, for the other three, it is a range between about 45 to 70. Now for our last uh, slide here, for the comparison statistics, when you look at the number of AP classes, uh, one key point that we noticed is that all five of these schools actually offer uh, more AP courses than some of the top South Bay public high schools. Uh, Lindbergh offered 17, Monta Vista offered 19 or 18, and then Saratoga offered 19. As you can see, all five schools here uh, did offer at least 21, and then the most was Amador Valley and Dougherty at 25, and then Foothill slightly below it at 24. 